Turned red. There's a red icon and it is yes. now counting down. Seven. <coughs> Eight. Nine. Ten. Up. Okay. Uh, hey everyone, this is the Power Food Podcast, episode three. I don't know, um, talking about what we normally talk about, um, I'm Jedi Poner. I'm Lama King. I'm always dancing. No, I'm Mark <laughs> What was that? I'm <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, so... Here, shut up. First segment's gonna be about what we played this week. Second segment, we're gonna talk about the game we reviewed, which is Fear 3. And our... Th- 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 three or... Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> third segment's gonna be, like, talking about, like, Horror, thriller, and suspense video games. And there are movies. Yeah, we're not sure what all that's going to entail. Which <laughs> it's going to be a shit show. No one's going to want to do What? What happened there? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe no one knows what you, we, just we just said just, what we were going to do. I yeah. Don't. Just start to the floor of the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. It's a long thing to get that. Yeah. JK, JK. So, JK who wants to start saying what they played this week? Well, it's not on the bed. You can start. I'm gonna uh, go, Ginger. Go. <laughs> I did not play a lot since our last podcast. Pocket pool. <laughs> you um, play anything? Yeah. You played Mass Effect. You told me you played. Mass Effect. Yeah, I played the DLC. I played a little bit of Mass Effect uh, Rival DLC. I did that right before. We went to make this podcast, so I'm only about halfway or first quarter-ish, I would assume. About third. Yeah. I think I got just a few more things to go. I think this one's going to be fairly short, just how it's set up. But Mm -hmm. so far, with everything Mass Effect, it's been really awesome. Nice. I also played some more Dragon Age 2, getting ready for the DLC legacy for that as well. I just haven't been able to uh, buy it yet, so I decided to get back into the game and get into the feel for what I used to do with it again. Is it a new DLC or is it just yeah, it's a Yeah, it's the first order. actual DLC that's not like just items. Armor. <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with the armor because the armor they actually released was kind of cool, but I just haven't bought it. But this is the first like actual DLC that they've released where you're finding out the legacy of your father and hmm. more stuff with the Grey Wardens and stuff. That's cool. And then... Um, with that DLC, can you play it? You have to beat the game first before you, you can play, play it? You can play it whenever you want and you can play it in the post-campaign as well. Oh, which cool. is why I'm, I'm going to do that first because I have the post-campaign. There's supposed to be special dialogue for post-campaign as well in oh, it. Nice. But you can play it at any point in the game. Oh, so um, yeah, and then curse of the dialogue changes depending on what point you are yeah, in the game. Yeah, y- you can also, some companions can't use the different points of the game, and you're able to use them again at the very end oh, wow. if they're still living. Oh, that's actually mm-hmm. really cool. Yeah. It gives you lots of re- uh, replay buildings, so whenever you want to have a different... Yeah. The only problem I have is that I always have, just because I kind of play my games all the same way, because I'm not going to be the renegade, I'm not going to be the douchebag. Douche. Bag. douche. So, I'm yeah, also very... It makes you a douche, not <laughs> playing the douche. <laughs> very quickly, I find that, that I have a sense. set of characters who I'm always sense. using. And there's a few characters who I will never use in the game, really. Fenris. Fenris and Anders. <laughs> what? I love Anders! Anders is a bitch in this game. <laughs> Anders was... Okay, he was only a bitch when he spoken. kept asking me to be his boyfriend. Anders is No, a he bitch. was a bitch at the end as well, and throughout the entire game. Same with Fenris, though Fenris I was actually able to have a satisfying ending because I got to kill the bastard. I'm very picky with the people. <laughs> you seem like a real bad to play, to play with a Lama, why won't you play as a wizard again? Why won't you play as a mage? Because I... No, it's not really spoilers because I have so quick in the game. I have this like stigma <laughs> in my head of getting my sister killed in the game. Want to know something funny? He does what? have a twin sister. I kind of like kill him, kill him apart from himself, you know that, right? Yes. But this is... It's a game. I don't really like that name. No. It's kind of the... the I never world. used her through the whole game when I had the option. I got rid of her. Really? I hated her guts. She's awesome. I liked her in the fake story at the start because she had massive... 
stuff. Yeah. Gee, a massive really personality. <laughs> he meant tits, but... No. Okay. Yeah, yeah you did. Boobies? Breasts. They are called breasts. <laughs> Elegant breasts. Bosoms. Not bosoms. Bucks Bosom. No. Not bosoms. Milk no. containers. Yeah, there's no flavor in there. Get it right. <laughs> Milk <laughs> containers? <laughs> Jugs. Jugs. No, in Dragon Age 2, if anyone threatens Bethany, I go ape shit on them. That's also been some of my favorite moments in the game. People thought that kidnapping her would be a good idea into blackmailing me when they got the entire opposite reaction. They got their entire organization fucked up. That's the boy. first time they've heard that, I'm swear. Because it's kind of scary. Yeah. He must have really you can see the fire in his. <laughs> he always says, eyes. God damn it, though. I was going to say, crouch. Yeah, God damn it's a little different than, than fuck. <laughs> Yeah, he, he yeah. does say goddamn a lot. I guess that's true. Yeah. Blimey. <laughs> Blimey. Bloody hell. Oh, she's a shard. Oh, diddly dear potatoes. <laughs> Shut the hell up. <laughs> yeah, it's epic. And then I played a little bit of Prince of Persia as well. This Which week. one? The new remake, I'm assuming. 2008 edition. The awesome one that they had. The, like... Cell shaded. I was gonna say shells. Never. Yeah. Shell shaded. Shell Which is extremely shaded. awesome, and I will Rich never forget version. Ubisoft if they do not make a sequel because it's mm. so amazing. I thought I, I thought they were planning on it. They just haven't started anything yet. I'm hoping. Well, the problem is, is that Assassin's Creed, I believe, came out the year before, and now we're about to get the fourth Assassin's Creed game, and we're still waiting for another. Prince yeah, it of seems Persia. like Assassin's Creed has come out like every single year, like yeah. Black Ops. It's They're trying to burn it for all it's worth. Yeah. But they keep on making it better, which is why I have so high hopes that they'll make a Prince of Persia 2, because they've shown with Assassin's Creed that they can look at the criticisms, and they can make an even better game the next time around. I never really got into Assassin's Creed. I just didn't like yeah. all I, the first one, you had all that flag collection shit. Yeah, you don't have to. Uh, I don't have to. I haven't really more. been into That's Assassin's it. Creed either, but I ha I've been slowly playing through number two when I got my PS3. Oh. For the record, I prefer Achievement Hunter. Or. Hunter. Or. Hunter. Or. Hunter. Hunter. <laughs> Hunter. Yeah, Makes me sound more like a. Dude, that guy just broke 600,000. I'm an Achievement Hunter. He's paid over 800 games on the Xbox. He's an Achievement Whore. Because he's been like, poured out to all the game companies. No, no. There we go. Simple mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Olympian pose. <laughs> Is that yeah. it? Well, you went. Um, what, you know, Prince of Persia? Yeah, the one Prince of Persia I played was uh, it's from GameCube. That been uh, Sands of time. time. No, the thing was Warrior Two Thrones. Warrior Within? No. Two Thrones wasn't on the GameCube. Right? No, that was, was only that? a PS2. Yeah. I thought. Sense oh, yeah. of Time is the only one that's been on any other system, um, and then they went to just PC and PS2. They it's stopped doing Xbox. Xbox. They stopped doing Xbox. Was it two Thrones on the two Xbox? Thrones? Though? Yeah. Two, it might have been, but I know that no, Warrior, the, the, Warrior Within was on Xbox. I know that they like PS, the P, the PlayStation better because they did the HD collection for the PS3. No, I'm still gonna pick yeah. that up. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, no, I just played one per, per the game. It was fun, I just... Sense of Time just, is just... I just couldn't do it. I just, it's just a little too old school for how I play games, because I'm not that good of a gamer. So, I have a lot of difficulty, because... There's the point of the trial and error, but you can rewind time, but I don't want to waste my sand on a jump that I might have failed, so mm -hmm. I just decided to reload instead. Oh, yeah, fair enough. I've, I've thought about getting on trainers that will change a bit of the game so I can just play through it and enjoy it the way I want to, just because I'm terrible at gaming, so there's things that ha happen within the game that just not my generation of gaming. Yeah. That's alright. They're each his own. I think that's the older gen generation aren't like the like, fantasy RPGs and that. And the, they, uh, the, new, like, the newer generation is more like First person shooters is by every single game. Well, first I, person shooter. I, I prefer role-playing games. I prefer role-playing games. It's just that I don't like super hard stuff just because I'm not that good at anything. I'm going to 
play on the lowest setting because I just want to enjoy the game. I don't want to bust my ass trying to beat something on the hardest difficulty. Yeah. My yeah. favorite shooter is still Halo 2. Yeah, if the Halo remake that comes out. I am. I'm not sure if I'm going to spend money on that. I, well, I didn't like the newer Halo stuff too Reach? much. You didn't like Reach? Like, I liked Reach, but I didn't... Well, I didn't like it enough to keep it. I, I just traded just, it in. I, I just have fun playing with friends. The Reach is the first Halo game I've ever bought, so... Reach like, is fun online. I love Halo Reach multiplayer. Yeah, like, the reason, well, Halo 1 and Halo 2 meant more to me because that was original Xbox when I didn't have live. So, mm. I've played through the Halo 2 campaign to the point where I know all the dialogue at some points. Nice. It's kind of, I've played through each level at least, like, 40 times. 30, 30, too, too, too much for me. No. Yeah. This is, for me, it's more been a week of wanting to get games or waiting for games. I'm still waiting for Knights Old Republic to come in the mail. And I've been playing it on it. Pardon? Didn't you order that, like, <laughs> it was, the earliest it was supposed to come was last Friday, and the latest supposed to come is this Friday, and I'm half expecting it just to come next week. <laughs> no, 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 no. Am, why, it's why never going to come. Buy, it's going to buy it off Steam and download it right into Steam. Because how how I, how I will eventually play it is I'll eventually play with some cheats just so I can goof off, and to do that is a lot more difficult because of Steam system. Oh, okay. Because you have to go through a lot more files to modify it because they don't want you to modify it. Okay. And it should be too hard, though. And as much as great so as Steam is, the games download so slowly in my computer that I really don't like to get games if they're going to be big. Yeah. Um, the original Witcher took two days to download for me, <laughs> so I try and avoid <laughs> any big games I possibly can on Steam. And I also really just like having a physical copy. As much as great as it has a digital copy, I still like having the physical copy. Yeah, no, I like having a physical copy too. But I mean, pretty much got all my stuff on Steam now. Yeah. yeah. What are you laughing about? Okay, because I have my, <laughs> I like a little gap between my uh, two pieces of stuff to protect the drippings of my sub onto my and shirt. It went right in between. It went right in between. Yeah, it's all over my shirt now. It's like a sneeze on it. <laughs> Ew. Nice. <laughs> and then... What, what, what other game are you wanting to play? Um, that comes out next week, Tuesday. It's Bastion. Bastion. Yeah. For, on Steam, Bastion. Right? I, I forget, it. did you remind me about it, or did I just start uh, talking to you about it again? I think you just started talking to me about it. Again. Okay, I must have stumbled on it online then. I mean, it's like... On the front page of Steam, so. It's out on. It's out on Xbox. Xbox yeah. Arcade. Yeah, through the yeah. Summer of Arcade or whatever. Oh, I should probably but try that. Yeah, do the trial. Just how with my. I got like an old, old, old Xbox 360, so I only have like six. whatever left. Oh, yeah, I only, I only ever had <laughs> ten on it. I only have six. 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 You have six Xbox left? Hello, kids. I don't. I don't play a lot. You gotta uh, understand that. Uh, flap their wings to power up Xbox. Four, Six four, four have four have died so far. <laughs> I'm still in my original. I thought they only came out with twenties. No, there's, yeah, it was twenty. Then no, they, then there was a forty. No, wasn't it? Yeah, but they also had the arcade though. Yeah, the arcade. The arcade had no memory on it. it didn't have a hard drive. Yeah, so you had to buy like chips. Yeah, I had like 256 megabyte chips or something. Yeah. 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 I yeah, roll. Uh, <laughs> I roll. Like I, got, I, got, I, think, yeah, I think I have a 60. Like when the old 60s, the old like 60s. I kind of want to oh, get that, I I kinda wanna, that 250, the new 250 gigabyte. Yeah. You don't have to struggle I to can't fill even, that. I can't even fill that. You don't like, have to struggle to fill that. I struggled to fill half a 120. I can see that. I get to... I guess if you get lots of DLC, maybe. Even if I downloaded like a demo, which is usually like a gig each. Yeah. I had like thirty demos on there. And like, plus, you're gonna delete them or whatever. Yeah, and if and if and if, and if you, and you like the game, you have the full version. It's pretty much the full version. You haven't added anything from the demo to the full version, really. 
I just don't have a lot of space on my Xbox, but then I, I don't play a lot of games on it. I don't think it's coming out for PS3, is it? For the I don't think it's coming out for PS3. Um, they're c going to consider it after oh. seeing the sales. For Steam? Yeah. I, think, yeah. I think that's going to sell a lot on Steam. That, looks, that seems like a perfect PC game or not. Xbox. You know, look, the controls look very good for the. It's um the one review I said. It, yeah, it's been getting good reviews already. No, I'm just yeah. talking about like the style of game it is. I think it's probably suited more for the PC. Well, PC. Yeah. Kind of no, I mean hack and slashers are better on consoles, I find. Yeah. But I mean, they're, I'm assuming they're gonna put gamepad support. So it's people. it's got gamepad support, yeah. and they've custom made controls for the yeah. keyboard. I'm and assuming those. people are just gonna do that. Or I mean, if they make the hack and slash, I'll make it like Diablo. Yeah. Maybe it's not really... Mouse. There's a Diablo phone coming out. Yeah, it's called Path of Exile. Yeah, there we go. It's called Torchlight 2. <laughs> it's called <laughs> Awesome Diablo Remake. It's called Diablo 3. Oh, what the fuck? The, the press finally got to the uh, 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 beta for, uh, for Diablo 3, so I mean, that's going to come out soon. It's not going to come out soon. No, like the beta one, not the game. Uh, you have the three? Yeah. Only three months later this year. It's not early. I'm just not going like. I don't like Skyrim. Just, for fun. Oh, yeah, you can pre purchase Skyrim on Steam now. I'm getting a bit more excited about that game. Um, they had QuakeCon this oh, yeah. past week, I believe. Yeah. And so I was watching a video, some guy had his digital camera and he did a shaky cam um, of like uh, nearly 40 minutes of the demo that they showed and it's basically just the same thing but with added footage in between and I got a bit more interested in playing Skyrim just because of how much fun the crowd was having with it they they would just get excited over the little things the guy decided he was going to dual wheel two swords and they freaked out they got so excited <laughs> over yeah. him jumping Literally into the awesome. water and seeing the ripples so I had a little I like bit. like water yeah. ripping. <laughs> it's so pretty! Well, there's a, I downloaded the Morrowind mod to have dual wield. All it really was was the other sword was your shield. It was just shaped like a sword. <laughs> it was just like, I have two swords, finally! <laughs> <laughs> That's what they told me. Shut up. Don't shit all over my dreams. <laughs> okay, have, have you tried the Star Wars mod for COD 4? No, I haven't. For my computer right? cannot handle that. <laughs> you sure? Okay, I tried to record Dark Messiah. No, I was running at five frames a second. It was, it was animation. Was it? What did I yeah. say? Dark Messiah. Whatever. Because you did record some of that. Actually, that's the stuff you have on YouTube. Oh, really? I can't I remember. It was so long ago. Yeah. The archives. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the olden days. So, uh, the days of yore. Jedi Pwn. <laughs> that's basically what I played and a little bit extra I guess we got into so I guess we should move on to what someone else played. This one. Dancing Zingo? Sure. I played quite a bit. Although I was mostly dabbling with my friend from work. Uh, he gifted me this thing called the Humble Indie Bundle. And it's a it's pretty much just a package of indie games. But it's a really cool system and they I don't know how often they do it. I mean I think they released Humble Indie Bundle number three, and what you do is you it's pay what you want, but I think there's like a minimum. It's like a dollar or something, but you get like five indie games, and I think they had a deal near the end, so you got like in total like twelve indie games. But they're really good ones too. There's stuff like uh, let's see, that's actually quite a bit. I mean, there's probably some that most of you guys don't know. Most of you guys don't know, because you guys don't really watch indie games, I'm guessing, it's not racist. <laughs> well, no. I just don't have the PC to run, I mean, I've talked to indie games. things, but I don't really look up PC stuff. Well, indie games, you could, you can run, I mean, there's I like... I corporate horror, so... <laughs> corporate horror. <laughs> indie games just typically don't play, make games that I play so much, so... Ah, uh, I love indie games. I think they come up with the best ideas now. It's going to make a... hipster. He's a video game hipster. You're a video game hipster. Video game hipster, I guess. <laughs> I'm not a corporate whore. <laughs> to everyone their own. To each his own. I'm a fanboy. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> everyone their own. It's a terrible thing. Same thing! <laughs> it's more 
group based rather than singular. Anyways. To each race their own. I guess that works too. Uh, but yeah, the Humble and the Bundle, let's pay what you want, but it, money goes to charity too. And they have like, um, on the site when you buy it, they have sliders and you can split your money and say which charity you want it to go to, or if you want to say you want it to go to all charity, or all your money go to the developers, you can choose to do that. They made like over a million dollars so far. Like the guy from, uh... One guy bought one. The, like, <laughs> part of the top donations the guy You're from... the messiest theater I've ever seen. <laughs> and then he just wipes it in the rest of his shirt. Good thing people learn. Well, actually, he's... <laughs> yeah, he's black, I don't care. Lamb has got his pants off. Sorry. He's doing the windmill. He's, he's just, waving his llama. <laughs> just going hard. But, uh, yeah, the guy who made uh, Minecraft, he donated like $4,000. Like, most of the top donations have been like $4,000 and stuff. But, I mean, my friend got it for like five or something. And really good deal. Uh, I haven't played all of them yet, but out of them I played a Hammerfall. It's like this physics based. Kind of sounds like Daggerfall ripoff. <laughs> <laughs> Daggerfall. Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls. Mm. What'd you say? I want to call it terrible. Go on. You just pissed off half the internet right there. I, mean, I don't know if half the internet's even played it because it's older than what. Yeah. I, I think most. I think most people are gonna remember either Morrowind or. Yeah, Morrowind's probably one of the earliest that ever, anyone's really played. Or most people. There were mobile games too. Yeah. yeah. But that's mobile games. Yeah, and true. <laughs> no, Hammerfall is a physics-based thing. It's it's like an arena fighter, and you use your mouse and swing maces and stuff. Yeah, that's awesome. It's actually pretty fun. It's really, really, really hard though. Um, also played this other one called And Yet It Moves. Oh, I've heard of this. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like the art art design on it. It's like <laughs> sort of like paper, and you're it's pretty much just a platformer, but you can tilt the world 90 degrees to do stuff. It has physics in it, too. Uh, what else? What else? I don't think I've touched any of the other ones yet. No, it's Adam, Adam oh, yeah, Adam Zombie Smash. Sure. That, one's, that one's really fun. Just a strategy game, pretty much. And you're pretty much just cleansing the whole area of zombies, and it's like a race to see who can win. Keep it as a tracker. Yeah, it's actually pretty in depth. Really fun though. I like it. That's a really good like I, I, uh, iOS game. Yeah. I mean, like the levels they are short, so. Yeah, they are pretty short. But I mean, it, overall, I think the game seems to be quite long, especially considering it's pretty difficult. <coughs> and I've only done like the first difficulty settings. There's like different areas where they have different difficulties of zombies and stuff and different effects. RPG elements and stuff, and then corporate horror wise. Well, actually, no, not for Nice Mountain Play is not really corporate horror, huh? No, not no. really, because I can't remember the developers. Mountain Play is more like indie. It has more than indie. It's just a higher grade. But yeah, I played Mountain Blade, Fire and Sword. Yeah. My guy, Tiddly D Potatoes. <laughs> He's hideous. <laughs> He's the best looking guy you'll He's ever see. He's fucking disgusting. <laughs> He's not. He's got like one patch of hair that's really long. The rest of it is it's like centered right in the center of his head. It's like otherwise he's bald and it comes down. <laughs> it just comes down to what's like. He's got like a cleft <laughs> lip. <laughs> <laughs> I totally just figured him, but he's handsome. He hasn't got any ladies yet though, because they don't want to serve him. I'm really disappointed he can't punch anyone in the fortresses and stuff. Yeah, it's kind of piss off. I thought you'd be able to do that, but yeah, I played a lot of that. That game's more just fun to dabble in. I mean. Because it's not really an end game. Like, there's a story, but it's kind of a boring it's story. A, I don't there's even, a story, air quotations. Yeah, but it's one of those stories where unless you're, like, doing hardcore RPG, or like, lore, you're not going to really pay attention um, to it. The story in all three of the games have been the same. Because it's oh, like, yeah. you're nothing, and then you... Try to climb to the top. make friends, and you climb to the top. I have, like, nine people. I have, like, nine guys that are fighting with me. Yeah. They're pretty decent. Like I had like like pikemen. Yeah, I was uh, playing like yeah, I was playing Warband and I had like a group of like seventy. 
yeah. with me, and they're all That'd knights. So there, I got some, got some good guys. Although I don't really, I'm not really keeping track of who I'm friends or enemies with. I think I'm friends with everyone right now. <laughs> yeah, should make some enemies. You can like join factions, and then you gain that faction's trust. Trust. You have to do like all their hatred and stuff. Although some of the quests are pretty stupid and repetitive, it's mostly just run this letter to this person if and you're that, passing by. And those are so terrible. I like, I like the ones where you have to hunt down someone in the town and look for them. And it's really easy because they're the only guy that's standing still in the corner and yep. you talk to him. <laughs> and then you just kick the crap out of him. And everyone in the town hates you. No, they don't. Do they? Yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't find out I lost reputation. They always lost reputation when I killed them. I, I didn't look. They killed them, they're dead. I can respect you. Yeah, but there was, yeah, was a easy. known convict. It's easy the to gain hates me because I killed him in like the middle of the town. And that's yeah. because he spilled his guts all over in the yeah, place. Yeah, that's clean it up. Well, the kids. There are no children. <laughs> they all hide from you. Exactly. I don't, I don't like this game anymore. It's not like way of the samurai. You are born <laughs> <laughs> chasing around the kids and trying to slash them open with my sword. <laughs> <laughs> are there kids in that game? Yeah. I don't play the game. They won't die. <laughs> Oh yeah, you can't kill kids or dogs, that kind of pissed me off. Half the time you can't even kill the people you were trying to kill because they run too fast. <laughs> yeah, piss off. <laughs> uh, let's see, Mountain Blade, Diablo 2. I'm just playing Diablo 2 with Arclight. Yeah. We've been running through it. I don't know, we're like, what, Act 2? Almost done Act 2. Almost done Act 2. We just have to kill, what's her name? Tell Rasha. What's her face? Yeah. Tell Rasha. That's who we're going to kill. Nia. He's a bitch. Oh, it's a he? Yes. I don't know. I can't tell by the name. It could be a girl's name, I guess. <laughs> Tal Rasha. Oh, the last one we killed was Diablo <coughs> Bless You. There's Diablo 2. There's also the Diablo clone. Torchlight. I mean, can't wait till Torchlight 2 comes out. Okay. Have you, you got the full it? version or are you just playing the demo? Torchlight? Yeah. Oh, I have the full version. Oh, okay. He bought it on a whim. <laughs> I bought it because... I, he was like, Torchlight, Titan Quest. Torchlight, Torchlight. I'm yeah. not much of... I had fun when I played the demo, but I'm not that much of like a loot-based oh, I'm a sucker RPG. for loot. A, yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's fun, but I'd rather be doing like and a story-based... I see different based. colored items. We'll be playing Diablo. Like, we'll be in a giant team fight, and I will open a chest, and, and we'll I will run. run out of the fight. I'll be like, RING! Blue ring crab, he's gold the, ring he's crab. In the tank and he comes running out. It's like, fuck. And it's like, where's all the good stuff? <laughs> and then I'm like, where's all the good stuff? There's only this crappy gray stuff left. And I just filter <laughs> all the good stuff and then drop all the <laughs> crappy <laughs> stuff. Why he has twice as much gold as I do? Yeah, but the gold is sort of useless. I mean, those merchants never have anything good. And that's because you put all your points into freaking pole arms and you don't even use them. Well, yeah, I do. That's all I've been using. Yeah, I know, because that's all you can use. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. It's a good item. You Just still not playing know. Vampire the Masquerade? Yes, I am. He's that game's getting, getting good. Hmm? He's, mm -hmm. he's getting to that. <laughs> Actually, I was getting on to another game because I've played quite a bit. Oh, God. Uh, but yeah, Vampire, I'm doing a Let's Play of that. That one is getting really good, actually. It's a really good game. Is it very graphically uh, intense? There we go. No. I was say potent. No, no they're say very it. ugly looking. <laughs> it's, is it it's, uglier than Morrowind? No, it's no, slightly it's, better than Morrowind. It's a source game. Yeah, so. it was a very first. It was one of the first games that were made with the Source engine. So my computer could run it. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. It's fun because the rag dolls and when you're punching guys, they fly. That was a. Uh, I was waiting in the, like in this hospital area. Like you're not supposed to kill innocents innocent people or all expose yourself as a vampire but like I was waiting at the blood bank and this lady was like you have to wait in line sir and then that's so I saved the game and then I punched the crap out of her <laughs> <laughs> and I punched the crap out of everyone else in the line and I killed the cop and I was like okay well that's done Feeding so I just loaded back because I was recording so I didn't want to keep it like that otherwise I would have lost you should just go to like a high school and find a bunch of people on their rag that's not that uh open though. It's like, like, you have different areas that are open like, you can do whatever you want there. But. It's like a few city blocks and then yeah. a bit of the surrounding area. Yeah. 
But that game's fun. And then I got this game called I, Divine Cybermancy. It looks cool. Oh, it looks confusing, confusing as fuck. <laughs> it is confusing. I mean, there's this guy on the Steam forums, there's this guy that, like, because you're supposed to play it multiple times, and get different endings, and it, you're supposed to play it through multiple times, and this guy did that, and he sort of compiled the story together from that, and it's really confusing. It's about all these factions and stuff. But it's, uh... And they're releasing a patch for it, so it'll fix some performance issues, so my it won't lag as much when I play it. I mean, it's, it's not... It's a really good looking game, but I mean, for some reason it lags a lot on my computer. Frame rate wise, at least. I haven't played online yet. It's like 6 player club, I think, or something like that. That's good. I was trying to watch the... see what it was all about, and they immediately got snagged on a glitch with the dialogue. Yeah, the dialogue I'm disappointed with. I mean, you either get... you either get random... Or, like, they made up their own language, I think, but you either get that on some of the main people you talk to, but otherwise they don't have any sound. Oh, it's just like, they don't text. have voice acting. Yeah, it's mostly just text. Well, on the bright side, I'm assuming it's not it's like because two worlds, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. oh, I'm assuming it's because it's a French developer, but... Yeah. French. Qu'est-ce que tu fais? It sounds like French, but they're speaking. Let's see, what else did I play? Pocket pool. I'm gonna take pocket pool. Is it only me then? Pocket pool? What the hell are you talking about? You don't know where pocket pool is? Is it pool in your pocket? No, you cut a hole in the bottom of your pocket and you touch. That's disgusting. Balls. <laughs> really? More liquor? Not really. Well, just a camera cooler. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's all I. Put. Oh, of course, the typical League of Legends. Yes. Lots of League that's of just, Legends. It should just be, be, be a staple for you. <laughs> Pretty much is a staple. <laughs> From this day forward, every week you will have played League of Legends as well. Probably. If most I, likely. We'll yeah. still bring it up every time. Yeah, most likely. Wukong! Wukong, Monkey King. I love Wukong. Dun, 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 dun. This is the best week um, ever. I might just save up for him instead of Jarvan. Not as well. Well, I don't know. I think Jarvan's the better. I mean, like, technical wise, but I mean, play what you like. Don't play what the meta game is or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think. I think that's all I played. Yeah, not too much. Not too much? No. And it's not like probably 10 games. Yeah, you nah. pretty much covers for what I'm gonna say I played. I'm just thinking if I <laughs> played anything else. Mm. Oh yeah, Counter Strike Source. And a lot of Flash games. Not a lot of Flash games. We gotta play, we gotta play some more Source. Oh, I played this one really good one that I'm playing is The Last Stand. It's on Armor Games. It's number three, and it's like really cool open world side scroller. It kind of took like ages to complete, but it's really, really good. Highly suggest people go check that one out. And I think that does it. Go on, Clay. My turn. Well, apart from playing Diablo 2 and LOL with you, I'm trying to remember, there wasn't that much. Uh, I played all the DLC for Mass Effect 2, only because I like, I've drained like six separate playthroughs into that game already. That was within the first month of it coming out. Six? Pretty much. I so much. I played those games a lot. 100 hours in Mass Effect 1. <laughs> that's e. it. Yeah, that's a lot. It was like nine playthroughs. 100 hours for that is for my one character that I was going back to in uh, for Arrival. For that one character I've just done 42 hours on. Um. Yeah, but they, I don't get many. I kind of just breezed like the first time. The first playthrough took me thirty hours, and then I didn't like go back and do any DLC with that one. And it's when I'm on. I'm just just have done the DLC, all the DLC, and I'm at like twelve hours in that one. So, and there's all the stuff I've lost because I forget to save a lot. <laughs> no, I. There was a point I hadn't saved for four hours. I'm compulsively saving. I'm 
usually. I'm really compulsive when I play uh, Elder Scrolls games, but otherwise I just usually forget. I forget if I can't save during combat. Because we gotta save halfway through, like, okay. I typically save right before I yeah. feel like I'm about to go into yeah. a combat area. I never save in. I That's what, like, Espe with especially with Mass Effect, if there's a door, I'm going to be saving most likely. <laughs> yeah. Today, I was surprised myself by running through places and not saving as much, but typically, especially on a first playthrough, I will be saving every time I have a feeling that there's going to be something about to come up. Yeah. And in arrival, the stupid waves of enemies at that one point. Which so you read that part? Where you're like... Is this the wave of enemies when you're waiting to be taken down? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got taken down pretty quickly. I kind of figured out that was going to happen, so I didn't really bother to. And there's probably an achievement if you there get is taken. An achievement. If I, you get taken down by, I'm assuming the energy, but yeah, I didn't really care for that, and I decided I was just going to run around and beat people up. <laughs> yeah, it was terrible. Like I spent it ended up taking like ten minutes of me just like crouching in a corner. <laughs> right. Popping, like every now and then. It's terrible. Achievement? It's not, I didn't even know there was an achievement, I just stayed alive because I didn't want to die halfway through. Stay alive. Stay alive. Yeah. 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 yeah, I got, I'll finish that tomorrow. I, mean, I might start going a bit slowly through it just to save it. Yeah, it's it was pretty good. Shadow Broker was a lot better though. Yeah, yeah Shadow, Shadow Broker, Broker was very fun. Is that it? Uh, well, that's it for Mass Effect. Like, I played all the DLCs, so like Project Overload, Fire Overlord, Firewalker, I still haven't played. And that came out, like... Then. Yeah, I've that that came out? I haven't... That was the first one to come was out, and I one. haven't played through the entirety of it. It's just... I like the vehicle, I'm just not interested in doing the vehicle missions. But yeah, because it came out, like, what, a month and a half after the game? And I had already played through it, like... It's fun, I I just haven't gone myself to do it because every time you gotta do a mission, you gotta make sure you have enough fuel that actually get into the system yep. that you need to go into, and then enough fuel to get back. Usually it's just one tank will get you there and back, and yeah. fly again. I've always liked the fact that you're in Mass Effect 2, that you're, you're under a orders and have all the stuff from this big organization. They built you a ship, they rebuilt you, but you gotta pay for your own gas. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes. Oh and, shit. And I can, under I can understand that for the- I can't save the world. I gotta mine, yeah. bitches. I can understand that for the third game, when you're having like the entire galaxy under attack, but- If the galaxy is under attack, that'll be thirty four fifty for your gas, please. <laughs> Pay up. Uh, I played a bit of Kotor because Lama was like, I'm, "I bought Kotor. It's not here yet." It's like, "Ha ha! I'm gonna go to my room and play it right now." Sure. <laughs> Rub it in, I don't you? I did. <laughs> you know what's gonna happen? He's gonna find his copy and he's gonna start playing it too, making fun of me. I don't. I don't have number two though. Really? Yeah. I'm, I played number one, but I don't think I. Don't, I don't think I own it. I always remembered that you had it before, no, like, or at least your two. sister had a copy or something. I have number two at oh, home. Maybe, maybe it was number one. I've got a number two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Well, laughs> there. I have to poop. You go poop. I don't want to. <laughs> you, you can talk. Again. You can do, you can talk, you can talk <laughs> I'll just have to wall. yell. No, I'll be good. <laughs> Put me on speakerphone. Bladder shot. No bladder shots. <laughs> yeah, that's all I did. Seriously, I did do you want, all. don't want to talk about like any of the DLC or anything. There isn't really much to talk about. Okay. Yeah, Shadow Broker was well, like Shadow Broker and Arrival are well written, so it made me even more res like excited for what Mass Effect Three is going to be. Especially Shadow Broker because they're constantly varying what you were doing in those. Yeah. And they did some. My favorite part of that was the... You it had, actually had a new Spectre. Yeah, and... You, well, yeah. But my favorite part of that game was the triple on Paragon interrupt that they did. They had a triple? They, 
um, you're confronting Liara about how she's been oh, acting, yeah. and it's three times where you grab her and you're like, hey, what are you doing? And it ju it's just kind of that having a cool moment in the game, but also making your character, so you're going, hey, and it is like you're actually grabbing her, going, what the hell are you doing right now? Bitch saw me fly out a window and she didn't even stop. <laughs> But the best part of the Shadow Broker that I enjoy is once you're done, you get to explore things, and they have dossiers about characters, and they can make characters more interesting, especially if they're reading these, and you can kind of get probably hintings of what they're going to go at with characters in the next game. But you also get these funny moments. If you look at Grunt's um, stuff, it's going to show his internet history, and he's just constantly been looking at like stuff on sharks and dinosaurs, <laughs> and it's just hilarious. For Jacob, they make fun of him, and they have his workout routine. I like grunts because it had a lot of spelling errors too. That's yeah. what I was laughing at the whole time. And he attempts to look at like human history, and then he decides he's going to look at dinosaurs instead now. I don't, I don't get these jokes. But yeah, do I? <laughs> I'm, sh I'm sure they're funny if I play the game. Uh, I, don't, uh, I, uh, I, don't, I don't really get them either. <laughs> nice. That was disgusting. Anyways, Arc Light's done, it's Jedi's turn. Yeah, I've played a decent amount, surprising for being gone for like two of these weeks that we've not been recording. Um, I'm gonna start with From Dust, uh, Xbox Live Arcade, Summer of Arcade game. I just tried the trial, I didn't even like finish the trial. Um, pretty much you're God, and you gotta give these tribes people to totems, and do like, like control. Um, the land and the water and all that. Um, first two missions were fun. I enjoyed it. I beat them. Then the third mission, they brought in like a time clock. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you looking at? Nothing. Don't worry about it. You're yeah, just they brought. Me off. No, I'm sorry. They brought in a time clock, so I didn't. I just stopped playing. Cause I don't like being rushed through by time. Anything that's to do so. This Anything time trial-y. Yeah, I'm not really a huge fan of time trials. Neither am I. It just kind of ruins it all, so I was like... Like, I was joining the game, then I saw the time trial, and I just stopped playing, and I won't buy it. Um, so yeah, then I tried, uh... Insanely Twisted Shadow Planet. Um, another similar key game. Only really played two minutes of it, really, three minutes. Not my kind of game, you just explore. You're like in your spaceship, you got different weapons and stuff. It's kind of like also like Metroid Shadow Complex kind of style game. You're exploring, you backtrack, you get new weapons, and upgrades, and that. Not my kind of game, so. It is a nice looking game. I like the style of it. You're a fucking asshole. <laughs> what? I didn't do anything. <laughs> and then I finally beat up Pokemon Black. <laughs> finally. <laughs> Man, that game was wasn't that bad actually. Towards the end, um, so yeah, good. eighth battle, so Elite Four is really, really disappointing. Like usually, it's like four guys, all of my five Pokemon, they're like decently high level. <laughs> oh my God, um, I feel like game so fidgety. Sorry, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna punch him next time. No. <laughs> So yeah, the Elite Four is really, really uh, disappointing. Um, they only have four guys. The top guy level is 50, so it's cake, cake walk through them all. Um, then pretty much you go through whatever and you battle these, like the top two guys in like Team Plasma. It's like Team Team Rocket only with black and white. Um, whatever, they weren't really too hard. A little challenging, the most challenging battles you have so far. Um, but yeah, no, I just, even when I beat the final guy from Team Plasma, I, I didn't really feel like I beat the game, it was just kind of like a hollow ending. Like, okay, now you move on to the end game and, like, keep keep going on with your guys. It like, didn't seem like I beat the game, it was just like, now, it's like now I'm going to where I should be the, be in the early four. Whatever, so like the <laughs> highest level of the guy on the leader of Team Plasma was 54. 
Now, uh, then after you beat the league and you go to like the unexplored area. Call the police! Call the police! <laughs> so shot him! <laughs> This is why I'm sitting away from everybody. I'm by myself. I can't get punched. I really hate my ribs. <laughs> no, you've been a fucking like bitch ever since I started dogging. <laughs> you've been like move, move around, distracting me. Yeah. I'm gonna keep doing it too. That's that was, that was my left hand too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with my right hand. <laughs> okay, continue. But yeah, no. Anyways, like the highest guy was level 54, and the yeah, for like the first time through, and now. Like, I was like, okay, there was like, some guy offered me to, uh, some guy offered me the triple battle. It's so like, okay, whatever, I'll go battle him. Three of them are level 65. I was like, that's 10 levels higher. And there's no training spots in between. So right now I'm just grinding out levels and I'm pretty much to the point where I just don't want to play it through. Because I have to grind them 20 levels to be able to beat the, the league again. 10 levels to get oh. up to the point where I can battle these trainers. Just trainers. I mean, like two meters or anything. It's like so. Lame. It's just really so. boring, and that kind of bugged me a little bit. So I bought two new games for my DS. I'm gonna start playing those instead. They're both JRPGs, I think. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a sucker. I don't know why JRPGs. you didn't just pick one JRPG and then get the other one. Because they were on sale, very used. Get what other one? The Robo one. Oh, the Robo one? Yeah. I saw the Valkyrie profile and I was like, that sounds really cool. And I bought Final Fantasy. I should have just got the Robo one too. It was like 18 bucks. Oh, another time, another day. Yeah. So yeah, no, I, yeah. So I'm kind of disappointed with Pokemon Black again. It was really fun and then now I'm disappointed with it again. Um, so then I was playing Spider Man Shadow Dimensions. Saturday night thinking, okay, I'll beat this game. I only have three guys left still. So, going through, you can't really save them between each boss character. They're about like half hour to 45 minutes long each. And everything is going smooth, I was recording it, no, no big deal. Um, get to the final boss, uh, you do like your, like, they do their circuit and then you can actually hit them and then they do it faster and faster or whatever. Going fine, going fine. I died the first time, not figuring out what I had to do. Second time through, I do it. There's a cutscene before I can do like the final thing against the boss, and my whole Xbox froze. Oh. So, as I'm recording it, um, so then I was pissed off. <laughs> Turned it off, I'm like, screw this, I'm not gonna play Spider Man for a while. You know, I took like a three week break from it. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that was Saturday night, and it's Wednesday now, I haven't touched it since, I have no intention of touching it for a while, which kind of sucks. Um, Putting that up on YouTube. Yeah, so. Isn't that like the only thing you're, you're recording right now? Uh, well, I do have a couple of things in Bioshock, but yeah, you still yeah. need to finish that. No, I will. I just haven't been in the mood to record in a while. But yeah, so that pissed me off. So then I was put a new game, uh, The Darkness. That was probably like around that Xbox launch. I'm assuming. Yeah. The graphics are terrible. Um, the game play like game controls. All that shit's no, nowhere near what normal games are. Nowhere near. But I don't know why, but I'm having so much fun with this game. It's a good game. I thought it was fun. Like, the story's really cool. Um, you're pretty much, you're an orphan, and um, this mob boss named Polly, you, you call him your Uncle Polly, um, adopts you and raises you as pretty much his son. And then, so you're in the mob, then the game starts off, and you're being, you're like in this car, driving around, cause you're, with like your two kind of like co-thugs, and like your little small faction of the mob or whatever, and all of a sudden you start getting shot at by these, like construction workers and stuff, and all that stuff happens, I won't explain it, and then all of a sudden, so now Paul is going after you, but you don't really know why, so... That's going through. So yeah, your parents just trying to get answers and trying to piss off Polly through the, f the first part of the game. Then a significant thing happens in the first part of the game. So that takes you to uh, part two. I can't. I don't want to give away any spoilers, but part two is 
I don't even know how to explain it without giving spoilers away, so I won't. But well, well it's based Darkness. it's based off a uh, comic book series. Yeah, graphic novel. Yeah. 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 So it's all about this character and the mysterious force called the Darkness, which yeah. he has yeah. as a weapon, and I believe an entity as well. Yeah, it's like a part of himself. Like you pretty much share the same blood and kind of. So when, like you die in the game, the Darkness brings you back. You can't die pretty, pretty much, mm. it just like resets you. Um, but when you die, some of those images that pop up are freaky as fuck. <laughs> like, the game itself is not really scary, but it's just, like you cannot die. And I have like this really scary picture of like your um, this guy, I think his name is Terry or something like that. Has like his face off and just like no eyes and this big mouth. You're like, Man, fuck. I hate those kind of pictures. <laughs> and, and you can't skip it until and it's like, uh, but no, it was it was it was fun. I'm really enjoying. It. Yeah, but the darkness is pretty much like two kind of snakes that come out of your shoulders, and to like school, cause you to level them up, you have to devour the hearts of the people you've killed. So. Devour their hearts, gain their courage. I don't know. I don't. Um, I don't care. Whatever about the answer machine, pick it up. <laughs> um. <laughs> so yeah. I don't know, you level up through there, but you don't, it doesn't really tell you how you level up, it's just like darkness level increase, whatever. It's kind of, kind of pisses me off, because I like to know like how I'm leveling up, like am I getting stronger? <coughs> Stupid dog. <laughs> yeah, puppy. Making it with a darkness 2. Yeah, the, that, was, that was my goal to try and beat it before darkness 2 comes out in October. And as of right now, I'm probably going to try and beat it by the end of this weekend, because I really love this game. Um, like, I really am enjoying this game. I don't know what it is about these, like, terrible looking older games, but... Wait. Um, yeah, you're gonna made. finish a game? Yeah. I finished lots of games. <laughs> Just takes a while. Yeah. Because I hang out with people. And I don't, I don't have, I don't make myself time the game, pretty much. That's why I'm not... Like, I have the time to do it, I just don't make that time. I do something else for some reason. But now I'm going to make time to play more games. Talk about doing the podcast. So, yeah. Um, Screw social. Join podcast. <laughs> no. I just got to not see out so late. And game more. But, yeah. Um, so I'm going to continue to finish Darkness. Hopefully by the next podcast I'll finish it. And I'll let you guys know how it really is. Well, yeah, I know that's pretty much all I've played this week. Um, yeah, so I guess we move on to segment two. Uh, we're going to review... We're reviewing... Fear. Yeah. Fear three. Fear. Fear. For three are... Fear. <laughs> yeah, I don't get why they put the three inside of the E. Because the so three cool. is a backwards E. Or he is a backwards. Yeah, story. then the game is back. It's, it's a it's backwards in the in the second quarter. Well, I like how many here. people uh, get pissed off about that though. I don't mind it as a uh, choice, whatever. But a lot of people get pissed off with the fact that they do the three and E's now. Yeah, yeah. Lots of games are like Modern Warfare. Yeah. And um. Games are just running out of ideas. It, if Uncharted does it, I'm gonna be. Yes. No, they've already uh, shown their logo. Uncharted. <laughs> Uncharted. <laughs> Uncharted. Uncharted. 3D. The, the. 3D. <laughs> 3D. Oh. Yeah, Fear 3. We only played the first two missions. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's enough to get a grasp of it. Yeah. Because it's a shooter. And it would have been the same thing. Just. I actually had a, quite a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. For a shooter, I had fun, and I hate shooters now. Especially wow. playing Fiddle, where I'm getting to throw blood and possess people. Yeah. yeah it, was, it actually had memorable <laughs> moments, <laughs> and it was actually interesting to watch. My favorite moment being when Byron playing his Fiddle in slow motion, like, punched a guy out, and then Yi came out and shot him in the face with a shotgun yeah. in slow motion yeah. and ran past him. Man, that shotgun, yeah. like disintegrates people. Yeah, shotgun. Like, it doesn't just, like, blow them up or whatever. It disintegrates them. Like, their blood goes everywhere and then nothing's around. Yeah, especially just (laughs) a spray of blood and then 
not even that far behind. Yeah, so, uh... Pretty much everyone you kill, though, becomes, they like, just, like... Yeah. You just disappear. I didn't know that. I, I didn't either. But then again, it's, like, supernatural, so... I should. But, but the really. problem with the supernatural, one thing I noticed, was in the, I've watched other games, because I really have never had interest in playing them no, before. really good. But is that they were normally fairly good at mixing the shooting with the supernatural. What I noticed in this game in particular was that was not the fact. The only supernatural you could really say is that you have the co-op aspect, so you have the ghost fettle yeah. being, being able to play, but there really was not a lot of scary moments that were going on. Yeah, like for the no. first two parts. There are a couple things where they popped up, but I mean, unless you had, like, headphones on and you're yeah. by yourself. That was, like, in the first really level. Scary. The second level, you could hear, like, some kind of scary dogs in the background every once in a while, but apart from that, it was a very straightforward shooter. Yeah, just, well, and just, those dogs were really hard to hear with us laughing our ass I could hear, time, I could so. hear them quite a bit, but that's probably because I was closer to the... I couldn't hear, I didn't, I heard, like, the occasional growl, but that was it. Otherwise, yeah. I was just kung fu kicking people in the face. So. Oh, okay. Oh, you yeah. could do the kung fu kicking. Yeah. Do the yeah, point man can kung fu kick and slide and slow down time and settle and use just use weapons by himself. Yeah. Well, he can jog and throw grenades and shit, except when the game glitches and I can't do that for yeah. half of part two. <laughs> Until you bomb. allowed yourself to get killed and need a resume. Yeah. And then Fettel can just. Shoots blood, shoots can blood, drag people up, and then yeah, can them. possess them. Which is yeah. really useful. When Especially with, like, distance, because you'll grab somebody away, or he'll be up high, and you'll go and grab him. And how we defeated the yeah, one kind did. of boss we had was I possessed the guy with the rocket launcher, and then I had the rocket launcher to go kick his ass. Yeah, that's really some nice gameplay. It's also really satisfying when you're doing that in slow motion. You grab the guy, you're in the middle of the group, and you just slaughter the group around you. Yeah, compared to Point Man, Fettel, Fettel seems more fun to play. He's a bit overpowered in some ways. Yeah. Every once in a while I notice that he can't do his suspension trick that yeah. will allow you to possess people, but that's not, not that often. Typically that's... it's quite easy to do. I mean, we were playing on recruits, maybe it's different if you... Yeah. The, the only thing I noticed about Federal that can get annoying is that you really only have three things you can do. You can shoot people, you can bring them up so you can possess them, but otherwise you don't get to be able to do a lot because the suspension doesn't kill them. I thought that I decided to hold the guy up to see what happens. You just hold him up there. Eventually yeah. he'll yeah. drop. He I think it's mostly for else. the co-op thing so you can levitate him and then point man can shoot him because that's what I was doing. Yeah, 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 that's just... what... yeah you pop him out of cover and then... Yeah. I was waiting for a bit more like puzzly kind of things with that where the, at least in the co-op it would they would actually make me have to do that so that point man would have to be able to shoot guys. I don't know, puzzles weren't really a big part of the fear series yeah. though. I mean in fear one and two I didn't find But when you look at what you could do with co op with that. Yeah. I could you could technically do a lot of interesting things where you force me to rip off armor plating or something and let leave point man to do the shooting. Or if you could levitate point man like yeah, up onto the building. It looks like uh -huh. you might be able to heal him, but we never confirmed that. Because yeah. we were never yeah, we dying didn't. unless we were trying to. Or we were going right next to each other, but I would do the suspension thing and you would turn blue. I'm so. pretty sure there were lots of times if we were on regular, we would have died. Yeah, the game seemed pretty hard, actually. Well, I mean, oh, then again, I mean, we weren't really using cover, we were mostly just having fun and loving yeah, it. I hate yeah. first person cover. I can't use Yeah, because you can't really see what's on the other side. It's like, what a cool box! Let's go up now and get shot in the face. I like the idea of first person cover. It's more tense because it's how it would actually yeah. be. You don't know what the hell's going to be out there. I mean, control wise, they did everything pretty, pretty Excuse excellent, me. though. I mean, yeah. I, I found the controls were tight and responsive, and it, was, it didn't feel like Battlefield or Halo when you shoot something. It doesn't feel like you're actually hitting anything. I it I've, felt satisfying. I felt that that battle kind of floated around. Well, that's maybe because he's a ghost. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, didn't, I don't know if that connection with the, with the floor. Every time I moved. I felt he floated the Though, him being a ghost, there's every once in a while you wish that you had ability to go through walls. Yeah, or at least some should. limited walls. Well, yeah, because oh. right in the opening sequence, he, he comes through a door. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and and then you're stuck five with... Five seconds later, we're running around. I can't get through. And, and the door is shut. He gets like... 
butted Ga with a gun and knocked on the ground. Gameplay wise, you have to do that, but I wish that there was some areas, especially in like big areas for the fight, where I could have ran around and then ambushed yeah. everyone from behind while Point Man was shooting guys from the actual way. Yeah, like, that would have been really cool to just bring in, and uh, maybe that gets brought in later in the game. I know, heard, I know I've heard people kind of say some that maybe they are able to. It doesn't they, look like the type of game that they're going to... The only thing I think they're going to be introducing is the mech stuff. And the mech stuff, I believe, is only something that Point Man will be able to do. Probably. Unless you're able to possess mechs, which I don't think no. I'll be able to you do. You don't be able to possess the person inside. The yeah. yeah, which that means you can probably possess the mech after. Yeah. Or be able to control the mech, I guess not possess it. But. No, I'm thinking maybe in the multiplayer you can go through walls. Mm -hmm. Maybe that was it, if, as you're, if you're like fed or whatever, go through walls. I don't think... Is he in the multiplayer? Or? I believe I'm so. I'm not sure. The only thing I know about uh, multiplayer is that they got a mode that's supposed to be fun to play called fucking run or something. Yeah, that looks really Ew. good. You're running oh God, away from a it. wall of like death that's coming at yeah. you. So you have to be constantly running and shooting guys in front of you it's to make like sure you're avoiding this wall. Yeah. Wait, wait, fucking run or fuck and yeah, what? run? No, it's called fucking run. Yeah, fucking run. We should definitely try that out. Yeah. Well, I'm sure, like, I'm sure that'll be fun anyways. There's not really much yeah. to talk about that. No. But yeah. I mean, it doesn't compare to the other fear games, in my opinion, but... It doesn't, it doesn't have that atmosphere. It feels too action-y. Yeah, it feels like just a shooter. I think part of the problem that, even though it's part of the fun, is that you have you can play as, so you can play as this supernatural element, which takes away from the fear, because as a ghost, there's not really the fear of the supernatural. Yeah, that's true, because you're like kind of one of them. It's a bit more interesting. As a ghost, you wouldn't think yeah. there'd be fear of guns, but there is. In yeah, the, there's I was a, getting hurt by guns somehow. There's the... <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I, I actually like. I enjoyed it as a shooter, as a scary kind of fear-like game. I didn't really enjoy it. I mean, I never really played into the fear. It but might I'm... be better in single player because you still have Fettel yeah. with you all the time, but now he's a uh, more of a different element. That's true. Is Maybe. he with you in the single player? Yeah, he's yeah. with. It's the same. Well, it's the same be. thing. Co-op or. Oh, okay. yeah. He's with you because remember the cutscenes. He has to be there. I'm told the story gets really friggin' weird and Probably. is unsatisfying, but I don't know if they actually finish it off or not. I decided not to check things out because I knew that we were going to do a review on this yet. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think they make it four. <laughs> but it was all actually just a dream. They're gonna make a fear four, and the the F in fear is gonna be the four. <laughs> Four year. Four year. It's gonna be four. It's gonna be two guys again. No, it's gonna be four. <laughs> yeah, just four almost years. just gonna go rape a whole bunch of people. <laughs> oh, probably you're probably gonna be quite, gonna be like Elma. Now. Yeah, and the game is you rape civili civilizations. Ew. <laughs> Ew. This, 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 this just make Elma not fear. Just make Elma so you can play as Elma. Hot copy of the game. <laughs> Elma edition. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so are we gonna rate it? Yeah, I guess I don't think you guys really remember the rating system. I forgot yeah. the rating system. Yeah. <laughs> so it's in probably the newer listeners wouldn't know it either. Well, I think we can need to explain it anyways each episode. Yeah. Just to refresh everyone. <laughs> okay, so we'll put it up on the we're site. pretty much rating out of five, but uh, a one is a uh, run. Wait, wait uh, if it's a zero, we'll just say it's not even. Shit. Well, it's a seed. Zero is a leave at the grocery store and run. Leave is a shoot everyone in the grocery store. Zero as a, zero is is a, it shouldn't have even been been made. <laughs> okay, but yeah, one is rotten, two is bruised, three is average, four is fresh, and five is succulent. Why isn't one of them ripe? Yeah, I think it should be ripe, not succulent. Why? Because fresh can be ripe. Yeah, but ripe? ripe? Something can be fresh. Like, I can have a fresh picked apple. Yep. But I would like a ripe apple. But wouldn't fresh be ripe? Yeah, but it can still be fresh and still Why do we always get into 
super in-depth details on fruit. <laughs> How He's for the see? Power Fruit Podcast. A succulent just, it seems too long. I love the word, okay? Well, succulent. You can leave it a second. Because you like to suck the penis. Anyways. Buzz Killington over here. I have to have at least one. I, <laughs> I would go with, I'm going with average or fresh. I'm kind of in between on it. And then again, I've only played the one level. I've watched another level, but I had enough fun with it that that being said, I think it's more of, for me, a co-op game. It's fun because I was playing with a friend and I got to play as Fedor. Yeah, I don't know if I... It, it'd be fun playing with a friend, but I think I'd enjoy the story more, considering I've played the other two fears. Yeah. I'd enjoy the story more if I was by myself. For me, I enjoyed the co-op. I th think I should maybe try Pointman out just so I can try slow motion and everything, but I think I prefer Fed a lot, a lot I don't more. Know, slow motion, kicking people in the face. is quite fun. I think, yeah. think Fedor's more my style. Getting inside oh, pieces. Especially his creepy laugh when he possesses that somebody. Was, oh no, no that was like the public masturbating. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 or when he blows him up, just he like crunches his face off and just blows that, up. That's the only problem I have with playing Fettel, is that your screen so often is doing weird color stuff that you yeah. don't know. It's going to do the weird color thing when you blow the guy up, but every once in a while there's other weird stuff well, and that's supposed to be the scary stuff. That might also be because we're playing on such a small TV. Maybe. Like, Oh, and then the split screen. Oh, the this, weird. This screen's awkward. The split screen is terrible, and the, you can't change the it. Split, well, there might be a way to change it. We didn't really no, look, look no, it. No, we If it's not in the options, where else would it um, be? Usually, okay, the, I can't remember what game it was. I think it was one of can't the Tony Hawk it. ones. Um, you had to go into your Xbox options themselves and switch it from, like, widescreen to full screen. Yeah, but this is a newer, this is totally this is a new game. They wouldn't do that unless no, they were do that, stupid. Yeah. At least a quarter of the screen was just black bars yeah. the way they set yeah. it up. I mean, I don't mind that it's vertical rather than horizontal split screen. It's just the fact that they cut it down so there's black spaces where there's nothing right there. They could have had, like, the, like, you're getting score every time. Why not just throw that Or in? a map. That'd be useful. Yeah. Honestly, I didn't really like the score factor in the game. Yeah. I didn't notice That's it enough. I that couldn't that read me. the text because it was so... I thought it was saying your goat... Yeah, the for okay. the goal thing. I thought it was goat. Yeah. It says goal. <laughs> no, I just my goat for this level. <laughs> it just bugged me because because you weren't really playing the game. You're playing to have a higher score, be the favorite son in that level. I was the favorite. So uh, I was the favorite son. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I don't know. It just I don't. Know. I didn't like the because you know I'm playing a horror game to get more more points. Yeah. You're paying to be like in the story. Then again, we didn't really research and see what exactly all that stuff meant, especially that psychic link stuff. Oops. Yeah, you can either share yeah. and get team points or steal and get more points for yourself. Yeah. Um, they were starting to do weird level things. I got a level up at one yeah. point. I wasn't really noticing, I was just shooting uh, shooting things with the blood they stuff really I had. They do a good job of explaining the level now, because I saw you level up and it was like... I Yeah, like neither one of us is point man leveled up. Maybe it's different if you play by yourself. Maybe they explain things more. You're trying to do certain. I know you're trying to do certain type of kill stuff. Yeah. yeah. And so I would have achieved something with mine. Get X. Get X amount of melee kills. X amount of blood. I was doing a lot of stuff. melee kills around that point, so I was yeah. quite enjoying running up, stabbing people. Yeah. That's also something I sort of enjoyed with the game. You can't do an instant melee death. With knives, it took me two slashes yeah. to kill somebody. Oh, from the back, it's one. Yeah. I, I kind of like that idea. Yeah. The back the back should be one. Yeah. Like, I like yeah. that. And in the front, they should have the ability to guard a little bit, so it should be like a two hit. Not like a just click, move on, click, move on. It involves more like strategy and not just running up and stabbing everyone. Yeah. But, anyways, let's rate this. Bad boy. So I'm so doing the kind of three and four kind of. Between there? Yeah. It's so like a three and a half. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. Um. I'm gonna say four just because I've always been a fan of the Fear series and I know I'd probably enjoy like enjoy it when I play it by myself because I can see what happens in the storyline and stuff like that. And everything other than like a couple minor problems. There's nothing really too bad about it. 
Yeah, four. I was going into it thinking, well, I'm in that shooter slump still. So I can't play shooters really. But I had fun, so I wasn't not. I was originally going to give it like a two. Because. No, I'm really no annoyed with shooters. Don't hit me. Fucks. I'm really annoyed with shooters right now. I didn't hit you off with you. It's a fox. So I'm going to go with like. I'm in the same area as Lama, so three and a half, four. Three, okay, three and a half. So I like that. I'm using like the fresh or anything. Or okay, it was average leaning closer to rife. <laughs> fresh. fresh. <laughs> Fuck. Fresh, <laughs> yeah. We're the Power Fruit Podcast, we gotta put it in there, okay? Yeah, we're gonna be fresh. called the Power Fruits Podcast. I'm fresh. Llama's average fresh. Average and fresh. Yeah, same with Arclight. I'm average. Yay. You're nothing special. Yeah. That's Jedi. He's bruised. <laughs> You're gonna be bruised that fast for this podcast. Your butt's gonna be bruised after this podcast. I'm fine with that. Uh -oh. Pound it. <laughs> Awkward silence. You're gonna pound it out. <laughs> I told him we were the Power Fruits podcast. <laughs> okay. Um, I wanna give it a. Welcome to. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give it a, a, a fresh. Rating. And like I, I enjoyed the game. I loved playing playing as Fettel. Like God was, it was really fun. I just I didn't like the score thing, nor was it really scary. Which really really disappointed me. I still think if we went went farther into the game, it might have got scarier. Yeah. So that's what happened yeah. with the first yeah, one. Like I don't know. I can't get scared if I'm playing with someone else. I also didn't feel the immediacy. You're supposed to be racing to stop whatever the hell is yeah. going on, and I was feeling that there should be more psychic shit going down, but... I couldn't really see too much. The only supernatural thing that really happened was they started doing some kind of teleporting guys in, which I didn't really understand. Yeah. The the guys with the electricity like coming in and stuff. Yeah. They did a really good job of good job of explaining anything. Really. Well, I'm assuming yeah. because they assumed to play did together. Did you just say they didn't? They did a good job of not explaining anything. <laughs> no, I said they didn't do a good job of explaining anything. <laughs> they did a very good job about not explaining anything. I really enjoyed how much they didn't explain everything. It's a major selling point. For me. So we done all our scores. Yeah. yeah. So I, the thing is, we pretty much gave it like a. Fresh rating. Average to fresh, yeah. yeah. You should definitely at least rent it. Not a $70 yeah. game. No. 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 I'd say wait until it drops like 40 Yeah, it'd be at Is 40 Is it still at 70 It's probably still 70 What the f- I'm gonna wait till it's at 40 buy it on PC. Dude, what? Like, it's like 50 bucks. Dude, PC games are always cheaper, like no matter where you go, I don't know They're why. always cheaper. Yeah. It's like 10 PC is. Less people play PC. Amazing. Like, less people have the money to buy a good PC. <laughs> Yeah, like getting like a decent PC nowadays costs like a grand. Mm. I got a pretty good PC and we did not throw a lot of money into it. it it's people saying that it takes a lot of money to get that PC isn't you're gonna have to upgrade more than you would of course if you're getting a console, but it's not as much money as people will always make it out to be. It's still a lot more money than just getting a console. Oh yeah, why well, spend, well, spend 800 on a PC when I can buy an Xbox for like 2? Yeah, and that, and that Xbox will last you how many years? Like, si we're on like 7th year, I think? Without it getting made, without without it being made obsolete. And my laptop's probably, I'm guessing probably that time, and I can't play anything new. I mean, it's not a gaming one, but I'm still, it's like... I can't play anything that's like 5 or 6 years old. Well, I think maybe that's the reason is because since consoles don't have to worry about anything other than just buying the game, PC people have to worry about it. You can actually run it. There's a lot more stuff that you have to go through while yeah. if yeah. you have a console you know it's going to run. Yeah, yeah. You just throw it in there. There's uh, less of a hassle, just stress free. Yeah. Um, there are during like E3 there was these guys coming out and they apparently made a pro processor which would allow a lot more people to play higher end games without having to buy a lot more equipment for their PC. It's still more concept but it's a neat idea where you wouldn't have to be buying a lot of high end stuff because of how their system works so you could play Crisis 2 on full settings on 
your PC, even if it wasn't this isn't amazing. It was an Acer? Probably. Isn't it, isn't it like... Just how? No. Never. Never. <laughs> <laughs> if I can play Math Blaster on my Acer, it'll be. <laughs> That'll be a happy day. <laughs> is but isn't that part of like a USB or something like that? I forget all the like, details. This like, was, was back like a, in E3, so. Like I just heard about that through a podcast. It was like some portable kind of thing, like you can attach it to whatever. Like you can like you can make like Max play like high end games with this thing. Well, there's another one. It's called On Live, which is like an yeah. online service. Oh, yeah. well, I'm thinking about it's no. actual hardware that. Yeah, we, it is. It is hardware. It's like. Uh, yeah, but online is a different thing though. It's more the connection. Yeah. You, you don't actually have the game. Oh. You're getting it through an online service. Oh okay. Yeah. yeah. It's weird. So it's all, like all the having, games are like, on servers somewhere it's like else. Like having Steam, but without downloading anything. Yeah, you have a box and you pay a small subscription for the stuff, essentially. Um, and then you have it. to buy it. Yeah. Um, I'd only. Only if I started hearing good reviews and yeah, there's a fluctuation of people going towards it, would I consider it? I'm skeptical. Once again, I prefer, especially with games, to have a physical copy if I can. Yeah, I definitely want a physical copy. Of, uh. Like, I don't like having, like, the digital. Like, that's why I don't download, like, arcade games, because they're disposable. Like, I have lots of arcade games that I just download from Xbox I don't play. Because I don't have that physical copy in front of me reminding me. We have to move on to our third section right now. Which um, we would have had a good transition if we hadn't started talking about other stuff. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, we're That's talking. what I do. So, yeah, we're now we're going to talk about uh, anything related to horror, th- thriller, or suspense. That's one of the guidelines that we have. Does it count Heavenly Rain? Or he- no. fucking Christ, heaven, heavy, heavy rain. Why did I say well, heavy rain? I don't think heavy rain really counts as. It's more of a mystery. Heavy rain is like, like a, a drama. Yeah. It's a thriller mystery. Yeah. yeah. It's not really s- scary though. Like we're talking more like the scarier kind of game. Bioshock probably wins my vote as one of the top. The first one. I really. Enjoyed. I didn't like the second one. The second one was alright. It wasn't I as good. The it wasn't fir- as I good liked as the, the first, first one. one. I did not like this. I didn't even get like a quarter of the way through, and I was like, well, I have done this for nine hours already. Not happening. The problem is, I don't play that many scary games. I more watch. What is the, the best scary game you've watched? Amnesia, amnesia. definitely amnesia. Yeah. Am- amnesia. Oh, I think Amnesia would win my vote. I actually played it too. I like. St- the story, of course, is always the big thing, but when I realize what scary games are about, you have to have amazing sound, and Amnesia is a game that I go and I think I should be, like, ripping all the sound I can from the game, so when Halloween comes, I can scare the crap out of anyone who comes to my house with the sound files from Just the open game. open the door with your pants down and scare everyone. Thanks. <laughs> except for some girls. Well, yeah, because... Pedophiles. They're all whores. <laughs> That's good. Little pedophiles. Yeah, if, if an older gentleman comes to your door by himself, you can whip your penis out. Problem no, solved. That just makes sense. Yeah. My, probably my favorite like horror kind of series would be Silent Hill by far. I grew up on the Beep Silent Shows. Hill 2, I think, is recorded as one of the scariest games. I can you haven't sm- played Silent Hill 2, have you? I played an hour of it, then I stopped working on the Xbox. Yeah, you should actually play through the whole thing. If I would have worked on my Xbox. Why not? Why don't you torch it? Because I don't get sound. Every one of them has a sound problem. I'm sure there's a loops. fix online somewhere. Yeah, but see, I'm not very good with the computer, so... <laughs> I'll, I'll try it again recently. You have all three of us here. Huh? You have all three of us. <laughs> We're all good with computers. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Maybe. I, he forgot about us. I find most of the time is that I like more of a creepy atmosphere than yeah. scary because I won't be able to play through scary, so I like kind of the creepy atmosphere. I think that's why I like and because I don't play that many scary games, it more becomes I have a memorable section from a game that's scary, so it's Half Life 2's Raving Home, which is my favorite level to go back through in Gary's Mod and play through, just because they did such a good job of making this atmosphere where you have people on forums discussing who they think is the woman screaming in the background that you might get every once in a while and who the the whispering is that you can hear if you stay long enough in an area. Yeah, Ravenholm was pretty creepy. 
Yeah. No, I just grew Who up. Who is the woman screaming in the background? Really? Nobody knows. You know. I know you know. No. You. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm just picturing Will screaming in a girl voice. <laughs> Your turn. I really don't play many horror games. Yeah, like Pussy. Games. Dead Space. I'm, yeah, can I count good. Dead Space? What? Of course you can. I don't know. You guys discounted the you? other idea I had. What idea? That's cause yeah, but that's totally different. How is a scary game? It's a thriller. How would we knock off Dead Space as a scary game? <laughs> <laughs> Do you, Do you think, think before you play it? different elements. Frequently. It's go also going to go down to how you Dead prefer... Space I'm going with Dead Space, then. Dead Space is delicious good. and meaty, and I've shit a brick many a time because I play only in the dark with the surround sound on. It's all you have to do. You and can't play myself. horror games any other way. It's also what you kind of like. Um, I, think I we also got make in sure my bladder's full. <laughs> I think we got in into case. this in the yeah. first podcast full. we did. I, I remember talking about this, but I don't like when you're empowered in the game so when you have a gun it's yeah. not as scary that's why yeah. I like the idea of amnesia so much yeah. because you Infinite cannot number. fight you have to run you have to flee you well, cannot fight in any way I mean cryostasis you had a gun but it was still scary as that's fuck. what my favorite part in Dead Space is the start when you're in the straight jacket yeah that was fun. Dead Space 2 Dead Space, Dead Space, Dead Space 2, yeah. 2 but that was fun, just because you know you couldn't do anything. And then, like, after that, it's like, oh, I got a gun. Oh, it's a flashlight. Fuck. Yeah. That speech does a good job just making a creepy, a creepy atmosphere. Well, yeah, because yeah. you just hear the guys skittering around and the And they set yeah. up things well. Fuck. Also, just everything is good about that game. I really like it. Even the DLC for that is fun. Yeah. Hard as hell. More of the same, fun. but... Well, yeah, it's just, DLC is usually just extensions of the original game. Yeah, it's just if you want to play more of it, just something new, but more of the same thing if you get DLCs. And it adds, like, backstory and stuff like that. Yeah. So I just don't find when you have a gun that things are going to be that incredibly scary, but that also comes from everything else that I kind of experience with stuff being scary. Um, I don't really watch that many movies. It's more that I read. And so, going back into the nerd stuff when I was talking about Pulp Fiction, yeah. I quite like the <laughs> stuff by a guy who has this funny fiction. name called H.P. Lovecraft. Which oh, I love that. His idea... Beautiful setup. Yeah, I know. His idea of what would be truly terrifying is stuff that the human mind cannot comprehend. So when you see these terrible things, you would go insane. Huh. And it's a very bleak world where there's these ancient gods that are outside Dude. in space Dude. that could just easily destroy and the span of humanity is insignificant and will never amount to anything and there's actually no possible way for us to defeat any of these things. Call of Cthulhu. Yeah. I, that seems supposed to be really, really scary too. I actually need to try that game out. To the Google. To the tour. No, I'd probably pay for Well, that, that game is scary because even though you do have weapons, there's points where you can't do it. The scary oh, yeah. sequence is this one that's just tension. It's not even monsters. You have the villagers running after you, and hotel. you're running from rooms, you're locking the doors, and you're pushing um, cabinets, cabinets in front, and then you're running from the next room, and you're just constantly doing that as fast it's as like you can. like if you mess up one, they get through the door, and they ax you to death. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's rather mean. It's really good game, though. I should probably try that. I I you'd like it. List. What game? Call of Cthulhu. Uh, so those are just some of my favorite. Out. I just love his stories and what he'll do with stuff. I think and I really like about Silent Hill though is that the monsters are so messed up and like that atmosphere where it is is so messed up that you just pyramid you face. you like don't know what's coming next. Pyramid head. Pyramid head. Yeah. It just breaks people. So pyramid yeah, face. Like, it's like. funny because in Silent, <laughs> I, on, I don't think he was in Silent Hill one, but in Silent Hill two, the first time you kind of see him, he's having sex. More like it's rape. <laughs> it's yeah, rape. it's rape. Yeah, not even consent. Yeah, it's Sex, love, rape. rape, it's all the same. With like, <laughs> with like the four-legged, I don't even know what you call them. It's creatures. a nurse or something. No, it was the nurses. Was it the nurses? Yeah. You're in the closet and you see him dragging yeah. the nurses and then he starts raping. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the first thing you really, and that's like, that's like, probably like an hour and a half, two hours in. 
it's not that far in. And you're like, and the thing I like about those, that pyramid head is that when, like, since he carries this huge ass sword and it's so heavy, it drags on the ground. So when you hear a scream and comes to concrete, you you freak the fuck out and you don't know yeah. where it's coming from. And like, it's like some things like the torture chamber and stuff. And like the like hanging bodies of like these like like a child molester and like rapist and that. Got to figure out, and it's like a puzzle within that. That's all sound hell too. But that's just all freaking. But to open this door, you must place a child in the child molester's hands. <laughs> or you give an apple to a baby face. Like shout out to the dam. That was a <laughs> strawberry. Strawberry. Yeah, strawberry. Thank you very much. Tells who was watching. <laughs> Was he asleep the entire time? Oh, yeah, I was was How would you remember? <laughs> you slept through the whole thing. No, I did. Like 90% of it. So? I was tired, I'm sorry. Resident Evil is probably I got a good one too, even though it's a bit more action y. Just because of the game mechanics, it makes it scary. Yeah, like when you aim, you can't, can't run. Yeah. Awful camera. <laughs> yeah, and slow turning. Yeah. Really good game, though. I think that's what makes it more scary is because you can't just like run and gun. You have to like kind of use a little more strategy and be more more aware of what's what's around you. Eternal darkness. When the when it, they start coming at you in the real world and start messing with you by telling you that your save game is corrupted or pretending to turn off your TV, then yeah. you start getting screwed around by yeah, what's going this. on. Weird. Well. Internal Darkness is a lot like the H.P. Lovecraft stuff. Yeah. It's about insanity. So if your character gets too much insanity, they'll do weird things in game, but they'll also they'll, try and do things through with off. you, the player. They'll play so, it off like it's your TV. Yeah. Like, like a volume bar will pop up, and all of a sudden your volume will go down. Or your screen will go black. And then something weird's going to happen with your yeah. character, or your controller won't work, or they're going to tell you that they're your save data is getting corrupted. Yeah. Uh, so we yeah. need more games like that. Yeah, why aren't there more like innovative games like that? So I think the meta norm right now is first-person shooters. Like, sh shooters. like Shadows of the Dam, it was a shooter, but it tried something new. But even then, like, it didn't sell because oh, everybody, like, a lot of people like the Call of Duty fan fanboys or the Halo fanboys. And that's all they buy, and it's like... The main things right now are shooters and yeah. sequels and or prequels. There's not really much for new IPs, and if there is, they usually don't do that well. I loved Hunted. It was a new IP. I loved it. I was like Catherine. People are loving Catherine because... It's different. It's w really different. Yeah, we had boobies. <laughs> I like boobies. Okay. Boobies are a main selling point. Throw boobies on anything, it's going to sell better. Again with that. Except maybe Master Chief. Okay. Threw boobies on him, maybe not so much. Just make a female sounds. version. <laughs> Just become Samus. <laughs> Just to see my like spinning the ball. Zero Suit Samus game. <laughs> oh gosh. The tentacle monster's coming out. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> <laughs> it's got me. No stopping it. Quick, place your Wiimote near your crotch and shake to release it. <laughs> That's disgusting. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you should close this off. What about movies? I'm going to talk about like, horror movies. Oh, right? I don't know. Are we? I haven't seen that many... Drag me to hell. Count it! I have not seen that many scary movies. The most memorable being my first, which was The Ring, which scared the hell out of me. Like, placid. Blair Witch Project is probably... That's a good... Blair Witch Project just fought The home you. video of Michael's conception. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Blair Witch Project get things right, and that's actually... I have a book by the guy who created it, and it's basically the same thing, but it's fantastic. It's not so much scary as it's creepy, but the main thing that gets really amazing is when he starts to realize in the book that he had things wrong, and it starts being paid, because it's made like a file, like if it's photocopied, he starts realizing he got things wrong, and so it's the same old pages, but he's highlighted new information, realizing he had things wrong the first time around, and so you have oh shit moments where you realize what's actually happening now. Yeah. Movie. So that's I really like the Blair Witch Project, but a you lot of people I know don't like it that much, which is really unfortunate. Watch it sometime. We got him. You'll shit your pants. It's like a it's like an indie kind of movie. 
Yeah. It's found footage, yeah. and it was done. Yeah, it was done really like well. I f actually find um, the way they marketed it, they got in trouble because they were posting lost posters for the actors, and they actually had people searching for them when some other people were missing at the time. Mm -hmm. And so they had to quickly call that off, and they got in trouble with yeah. the cops. But the thing that's even more scary than the actual movie is the Sci-Fi Channel had a documentary on the legend that was made as if it was the one year anniversary after everyone went missing. And so it's old information like the Blair Witch legend and it's a lot more interesting and you're going to understand a few more things about what happens in the movie if you watch that before. The ending of the Blair Witch Project can be quite confusing to people if yeah. you miss a one line of dialogue yeah. in the very beginning. But if you watch this documentary, you're going to understand, and as soon as you see that last scene, you're going to realize what the hell's going on. That scene was scary. Yeah. And then it just ended. Yeah. And, just and, then, that, and then there's another company who's like, oh. It succeeded. Let's make a sequel for the Blair Witch Project. Sequel? Which was, yeah, it was pretty awful. Yeah, the Blair Warlock. No, it's the Blair Witch again. They go in there, but the only interesting thing about it was that everyone else was possessed, other than the person that they thought was possessed. So the entire movie, you're actually thinking that the good, who the good guys are, are actually the bad guys. Hmm. And it's only at the very end that you find out it's wrong. And otherwise, it was a really oh, awful movie. That's a huge spoiler. Well, nobody's gonna see it. He's a shit. <laughs> he just told the whole movie. <laughs> it's shit, so yeah. I just saved you the trouble of seeing a shitty movie. Or Wikipedia. Yeah. Which is what I did and why I know about it. Yeah, yeah. probably Wikipedia too. Because I don't think they actually have the ending on YouTube. <laughs> Man, the Strangers. It's like an older movie. I freaked the hell out of me because that can like, actually happen. It's more of like a real life thing that like, could happen. Oh, yeah. Plus, I came home, like, while Sam Theaters came home, and I saw it, I, like, I stepped here alone, <laughs> and the whole movie's about, like, these people, like, breaking in, in uh, into this, like, newly, well, I guess, they're, like, this couple's really retreat, really kind of, because they get whatever, and just freaking the hell out of them, and then eventually, I'm not going to spoil the ending, but... Like, it was just, like, creepy how they, like, knew everything about it, and it was just, like, the struggle. That just freaked me out. Hold on, my all-time favorite scary movies. Arpe, you got any? I don't really, I don't really watch that many scary movies. Yeah, yeah that's also scary. Little, like, when I was, well, younger, I watched a lot more, but they weren't necessarily made to be scary. They just scared me because I was younger, and I had a terrible fear of sharks. Jaws Deep Blue Sea was terrifying to me when I was younger. I don't consider Jaws as that scary in the same realm of stuff we're talking about, but Jaws in some ways will definitely... I think Jaws, Jaws was, scary, was scary because it was a phobia. Yeah. Yeah. The problem I have is, even now, I'm, I'm, I don't swim that often, but I really don't think I could swim in the ocean. Because the one scene that stands out to me in Jaws is as they're getting ready to kill the shark in the final kind of sequence, and they have the guy in the shark cage and he's just looking around and there's nothing but blue ocean underneath and then suddenly you see this little speck of something coming at him and it gets bigger and bigger and suddenly you see Jaws and I just, when I think about swimming the ocean I don't like the idea of that happening Yeah I don't know, like, I like lots of like darker kind of stuff and not literally like horror but like death, not death mode if that's like an anime it's just not really a horror anything, but this is a really, really dark thr uh, thriller. Well, this guy who possesses this book of death kind of thing. If he writes the person, he can write the person's name in the book and how they die. But he just has a picture, picture of their face. So it's all about him struggling against this guy to trying to figure out who this mass murderer is, who's killing every, everyone, but it's actually the main guy. And it's like their constant battle. It's kind of like hard to explain, but it was really good. The only thing I know about it is that they decided to do a really dramatic scene about him eating a potato chip. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they have this really, like, thing where it's yeah. like, and here I am about to eat this potato chip. <laughs> and you're like, what? <laughs> and it's kind of it's, it's kind of funny because the Aya, Aya Shinigami I'm not, is like a god of death. And they, like, they, they love apples. So that really made me laugh. It's just like some random thing. It's like to break break the tension. 
Yeah. I'm more like things that are s creepy, like for me, um, there's a show called Supernatural, and I really yeah, enjoy the first. I I really like the first season because it was incredibly kind of creepy. But I don't really like later seasons because then they started getting into demons and angels and wars, and it wasn't as scary anymore. It wasn't as suspenseful because they weren't trying to build up this mystery that was going on. And that's kind of what I like. That's kind of what I like about kind of Supernatural was that they were building up this mystery. But as soon as they kind of solved it, and went on to other things. It was not as interesting. Yeah, we should probably stop this podcast. I think. Yeah, that's why I did this. I think we're done anyways. Bye. <laughs> Night. Just, this Night. Is Night. Night. Signing off. <laughs> no one else is going to sign up. No. That's just going to sign up. Oh, he's dancing, signing on. Again, to start a new one. Just this is real right into next week. Okay. <laughs> I played nothing in the time that we were talking. In the time between the, <laughs> us talking and starting this week's podcast. Oh, we, we get next to Old Republic our, our, our still email. hasn't come. I haven't have oh, written yeah. to us about... Um, what's, what's yeah, when you made again? the email, pardon? Um, we made an e we made a Gmail account for people. If you guys want to ask us questions or or just submit or you want a shout out or something, just tell us and uh, yeah. it's well, powerfruitcast at gmail dot com. Uh, powerfruitcast. Yeah, all one. Yeah. yeah I'll I'll put it in the description. description. And you can subscribe to us on iTunes. There's like a little icon in the bottom of it. Uh, page saying subscribe to iTunes, so that will say if you like have iTunes, whenever you log in, and we have like let's say, the answer will put it up on Podbean. It will update you on iTunes, so it all might be downloaded to your iTunes. So that's how I always know it's up. Cause they're like, oh, download Powerful Podcast now, like episode three, so they yeah. don't know what's up. Yeah, make sure you go check that out. I'll check. Thank you guys. Questions. Yeah, we really want to hear if you guys have like questions, topics, um, maybe what kind of games you'd like us to uh, review. Um, maybe we can get. I don't know what I was gonna say. I forgot it. We could even like have like gaming nights where we game with people who follow us. And yeah. Maybe get get them to play like Halo or. Let us Wall know. or Diablo. You know, <laughs> the important stuff. Yeah, so, so I just guys know that. So yeah, this is uh, the end of Power Food Podcast, episode three. Mm. Thank you guys for uh, listening. This is Leon. I don't know how we want to sign out. Show me your moves. That's our play. I know, I'm awesome. That llama's got his pants off again. Waving his llama. Maybe. Say bye, say bye, llama. <laughs> <laughs>